it's amazing that it's still alive. I was expecting it to die like a year ago, but it's still going strong. The battery is still fine. The processing power is still there. It's still enough for like 2021, which is crazy. Even if you get it today in 2021, it's still worth it, I think. But there are two flaws. That is a weird thing that developed over the years. It's like this after image in the screen. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday in our day, in our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the Pocophone F1 review after two years, actually a bit more. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews are right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Check this out. I just got my new case for the thing today. I gave it a new screen protector. It's a complete refresh basically it feels like brand new as i said in the title this truly is a legendary phone it withstood the tests of time oh my goodness such a great device but there are two flaws and i will start with those and then i will talk about how great this phone freaking is i will show you my old case all of that stuff so first of all what i don't like about this phone is the speaker it's not loud enough the speaker is not loud enough it's not a big problem if you're using the headphone check or like the Bluetooth, but I like to watch videos while I'm brushing my teeth in the bathroom while the heaters are blowing and it's quite loud in there and the speaker just can't get across the sounds. So first of all, the speaker. And secondly, that is a weird thing that developed over the years. It's like this after image in the screen. It's weird. So usually I'm using at most, I'm using at most like half of the brightness, but even at these levels, it will start to happen. Just for demonstration, I will now turn on the brightness to the to the max level as you can see right here fully cranked up and now i will go to the snapchat because i know that this it will happen there and i will just keep open snapchat and in the course of this video this will get burned into the screen and leave an after image at least it will fade but this wasn't happening like in the first year so this is the second flaw like this weird after image that is occurring but aside from that the battery is still fine the processing power is still there is still enough for like 2021 which is crazy it survived all those years you never know with cheap phones like that but this one is its truly a legendary phone. I had this week where I was just so stupid and I was like, hey, my screen protector was severely damaged already. That's it right there. So I took it off and then I was like, oh, that is actually sweet. Why not remove the case as well? Just having this slim phone is like a premium experience. Awesome. That is my old case right here, by the way. Scuffed up, loose, lost the color on the edges. It's a cheap case two so like three euros or something like that three bucks anyways i was like hey why not use this without the case and i literally dropped it on the first day so literally on the first day i dropped it from around half a meter onto my bathroom tiles it's a hard floor and it landed right on this edge dented this edge and then chipped this edge of the screen and then i picked it up and dropped it a second time and it landed on the other edge this time but it wasn't as high and didn't chip the screen so first of all it was really stupid and secondly i got lucky because yeah just look at it it's not that big of a, an issue actually and it didn't crack the screen now if you don't take care of this there is a good chance that this will actually propagate and actually crack the screen but I use super glue, a lot of super glue and filled it up. Right after that, I put it back into the case because that is just so unnecessarily stupid. Unbelievably stupid. And this is the new case right here. Another super cheap case straight from China. I can link you the thing in the description. So check it out if you're interested. And this one is actually even better than the other one, than my old one. It's way thicker and it also looks cool. But I don't have a solution for, for this thing right here because in my car, I'm using a magnetic holder and I need to think about something for this case case but that's probably not a big issue all in all the case is pretty dope this phone is built flimsily the hull of this can't take a beating whatsoever so definitely use a screen protector and a good case with this device this is built very cheaply so that the price point can be low even though it has this amazing hardware in there like the processing power and all of that good stuff now i can probably show you this after image so when when i just go there it looks fine but when i go to the youtube app oh yeah right there right there there is this after image going on it's it's so strange you won't see it on a white background or on a black background but 
When it's like gray, then you can see this after image. And sometimes this gets really, really bad. But yeah, just to speak around this after image. These are the only two issues that I ever had with this phone. I still don't see an issue with this and I will probably keep using it even though I'm getting so many friggin new smartphones every week now thanks to my like to the tech magnet collab but so far i haven't i haven't got a better one even though this is two years old granted i'm getting a lot of these budget smartphones and for example the redmi note 10 or redmi note 10 pro even those like they, they could be a consideration but yeah not really like not really this thing is still great which is quite the compliment for sure it looks like a new phone with a new protector with a new case and like the fresh screen protector it's definitely definitely an awesome device definitely so this concludes my review after a bit more than two years I think like two years and a few months I'm still very happy with my Poco phone considering that this was so cheap to get it's it's amazing that it's still alive I was expecting it to die like a year ago but it's still going strong and yeah I can't complain whatsoever so the Poco phone f1 even if you get it today in 2021 it's still worth it I think so yeah that's it for this one smash the like button the way the screen gets smashed when it's turned on at high brightness and then yeah bang the bell like pa, to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that's it for today i will see you tomorrow